Hello everybody, it's me Austin. Welcome to another video where today we are going to be playing Kerbal Space Program. So in today's episode, we are going to actually make our way to Minmus. Um, so I'm doing a series where we go to every single planet in the, um, in the entire solar system. Um, and eventually do challenges given to me by the community. Um, so, first of all, we need to go to Minmus. Uh, we've got Jebediah, Bill, and Bob here. All of them are going to make their way to Minmus. Um, they are daring astronauts. Okay, I'm going to try a different approach. Normally, I tip north well, that way, like the way the, where my mouse is pointing, but I'm tipping this way this time. I don't know. It's just something that I usually do. Um, so let's try tipping this way. Um, if I am correct, yeah, this should get us in a more flat orbit, which will make it easier for... Um, for what is it our uh i guess uh what is what's it called our orbit so here here's the cool part about this build here the detachable uh boosters there now the boosters have like a ridiculous loud noise there we go there's <laughs> they knock together Hopefully those won't crash on this uh, on top of the Kerbal Space Center but at about 10,000 kilometers we want to be About pointing in that direction right there Don't lose control here Jeb. There you go So again those boosters are ridiculously loud the noise should cut out any time now because they will get destroyed in the uh, atmosphere once they hit the ground so uh, sorry for that ridiculously loud noise there's no way for me to cut those off until they smash into the surface so they should have already but you know um, so we've only got like a thousand meters per second on this thing left so we're going to want to make sure that we get into a nice stable orbit there you go there they cut off all right so we're gonna want to make sure that we get into a nice good orbit here or close to an orbit with this stage our apolapsis isn't too high so we're gonna pitch up a little bit more so that uh, our apolapsis can get a little higher and that way um, we won't burn up in the atmosphere I think 70,000 is enough to start tipping back 80,000 so it is the 4th of July so happy 4th I um, guess you could call this this is my 4th of July special I guess yeah because we're starting a new series so yeah, if we're conservative, we may be able to get... Oh, nope, this stage is about to run out. It's only got... All right, there you go, it ran out. All right, so now we are spinning uncontrollably. So this is the dangerous part. All right, we're going to have to detach and then do a little burn like that to get away from that. All right, there we go. So that stage right there, that'll burn up in the atmosphere. But we are going to point radial in and... Uh, not radial in, not yet. Um, so just point pro... You know what? Just give me... Yeah, point me prograde and then I'll take a stability assist once we are pointed prograde. So... As you can obviously tell, there's next to no atmosphere up here. That poor, that poor stage. Wait, how is it going higher than us? Wait a second. Alright, um. It's doing its own little thing. That better burn up in the atmosphere. So there's the Mun, but we aren't going to the Mun, we're going to Minmus. 
All right, let's finish circularizing. We'll, yeah, let's get our orbit and then we'll circularize it. So this stage should have enough to get us into a circular orbit and then get an encounter with Minmus. So we're gonna want this to be at, our periapsis to be at about where we are before we warp to our, um, what is it, our apolapsis. Right, so we're gonna wanna point down a little more like this so that our apolapsis doesn't grow as much while our periapsis does. All right, 80,000 kilometers should be enough. All right, let's warp here. So this is gonna warp us to our apolapsis where we will again point prograde and burn to s roughly circularize our orbit. You know what I should have put on here? I should have put a communitron on here. All right, let's just do a burn. So that needs to be at about five million but honestly I'd ta I'll take that all right so then we're just gonna oh nope not warp there we're gonna add a maneuver there so we're gonna want to do some prograde burning let's set Minmus as our target now you might be wondering but Minmus is farther away from Kerbin why why is it easier to land on Minmus um, that is a simple matter of uh, Minmus has much less gravity it requires a lot less maneuver maneuvering I guess you could say to get into a orbit with it and uh, it's a lot easier to escape there there's a moon and uh, there's a mun encounter but we are not looking for a mun encounter we are looking for a Minmus encounter that is a curb and escape velocity. Let's see if we grab the blue little maneuver node right there. Can we like shrink that? No. We got a retrograde. Yep. All right. Let's point that way. Prograde. There we are. All right. Um. No. Okay. So let's do a little bit of. Uh, Fancy maneuvering, I guess. Let's see. Let's do some more retrograde. Let's do some prograde. Let's see. Looks like if we get an encounter, it would be somewhere more down here. So let's see. Let's see. Oh, we are very close to an encounter. There we go. An encounter. All right. How good of an encounter is that? Um, it's okay. And our burn time will be about eight seconds. So we're going to want to burn at about four seconds. Oh, cannot auto warp so far. Warp here. Um, we're going to want to start burning at about four seconds before it says that we should be burning because it that is an estimate there's a firework uh, like I said it's the 4th of July happy 4th yay we're putting people on a moon it's not the moon it's a moon because Kerbin has two moons but here is a list here's like all the main planets so there's Elo there's Jewel, there's Darius, Drez, uh, the Kerbin, <laughs> Land on Kerbin, <laughs> Eve, Moho, Duna, and those are the planets and they each have their own moons. So comment down below which one I should land on. You can look them up on like Google or something if you want to know what moons they have. Um, but yeah, I might be using an SSTO, uh, plane thing when I do that, because, um, uh, SSTOs, they can be pretty good 
because you can land, refuel, uh, take off, land, refuel, take off, land, refuel. All right. Yep. So we're going to burn. Uh, as you can see, I neglected to burn before our thing. So we're going to have, there we go. We still got our encounter. It's just not as good of an encounter. All right. Seven days. So as you can see, these Kerbals have been out in space for three days now. Four days, five days, six days, seven days, eight days, eight days, and then they got their encounter. So as you can see, we're just about out of thrust in this thing. At most, we'll probably, oh, wait, did we just make an orbit? Nope, we just made an escape trajectory so let's let's make that in orbit all right let's see oh there we go very horrifying orbit oh that's not even in orbit anymore uh let's burn prograde there we go okay horrifying orbit right there but now we are going to do a very delicate uh maneuver here maneuver node here to try and land on the light side of the moon while also um landing on an ice lake because the ice lakes are uh they're the, just the easiest to use all right let's warp there all right this will be the 10th day all right and then bam Let's warp here. All right, we're gonna do. We're not gonna do as much thrust as it wants me to use. There we go. All right, let's just deorbit ourselves real fast. If it would actually like line up with the oh. We ran out of fuel. Okay, um, where's this thing going? Oh, it's just forever gonna be in curve and orbit. All right, um, here we go. So decouple. All right, clean decouple. That's nice and easy. All right, let's do a very delicate burn. Right, like. You know, all right, there we go. Very delicate burn. If we ever hope to uh, actually get these Kerbals back, so that's good enough for me. It looks like we'll be landing on the dark side of the moon, which is just easy to do. Uh, it's easy to correct that. Oh, we aren't even, like, gonna be landing yet. Okay, because it doesn't have an atmosphere to, like, slow us down. So we're gonna need to fix that. Alright, there we go. There's another firework going off. Alright, uh, sad face. We're landing on the dark side of the moon, which is just, again, easy to fix by warping here. As you can see, we're going a whopping 100 meters a second. But again, it is really easy to fix not having not landing on the light side of the moon. All right, we're gonna fix it like right about here. So here we're gonna slow ourselves down. Now we're just gonna get a stability assist. We're gonna point this direction and burn in this direction. And that way it will give us a nice landing uh, we're not landing all right so let's just warp here and then we'll be burning retrograde we'll be doing some retrograde burning and then that will shorten out to that and then there we are uh, we're still landing on the dark side of the moon so we're gonna want to point 
prograde do some burn there we go alright now eh let's see if we can make that any better uh oh okay yeah so you know what for me that this is good this is good enough alright let's just do a full stop here full stop skirt skirt In fact, we could point prograde, right? Point up a little, and then burn that way, and then we could land on an ice lake, right? No? Why won't it let us land on an ice lake? I need to like burn this way. Yes, I do actually. Okay. All right, let's like warp here. Alright, let's do a quick save right there. Oh, hey, there's a nice lake right over there. We can do a full burn there. Big boom. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go, gamers. We're landing on a nice lake. We've still got a thousand meters a second. That's enough to land us back on Kerbin. If we're careful, that is. Let's extend our solar panels because I was not smart and I didn't bind them to a group. There we go. There we go. And that way we won't run out of electric charge. Let's point retrograde. Then let's do a little bit of burning so we can land on this smaller ice lake here. So we aren't landing on the big giant one right over there. But it's easy to land another craft here and uh, just like drive over there. Or heck, we could even like do land something on there and then take all the Kerbals and use their EVA packs to land them there. Oh, there's another big one. Oh, that one didn't explode. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> Alright, um... So, we're going in. Let's real quickly quick save. Let's do time warp here. Oh, cannot time warp faster. Alright, there we go. Okay, so... Here comes the long part, which is just waiting for us to descend right look at all those little rocks that we can go pick up for science oh yeah I forgot we've also got this little ladder here let's turn on the lights so there's our little ladder it doesn't reach all the way down but they can easily jump onto that uh, or even use their EVA packs, but mainly this is just like to grab all the science and stuff that we have in this uh, container module. So again, this is a multi-part series. You can suggest anything. Like if you want me in the next episode to come back to Minmus and like set up, I guess like a base, like a big base or something, land another rocket. Literally, I could build a base and then fly it to Minmus. I could build a giant mobile base. Just tell me what you want to see me do. Uh, and I'll try and make it happen. I mean, one time I did land a car on Minmus. So here, just to make sure that you guys are getting, like, all the good sounds in here. Let's turn the audio up to 100. There we are. Beautiful mystical music. Alright. Quick save. Do real quick, like, slow down burns. Alright, here we go.
10 meters a second. We want to stay just about under 10 meters a second. We want to make sure that we're staying retrograde. Just do small little burns. So right now we are using the Poodle engine, liquid fuel engine. This thing's actually really efficient in space. So you'll be seeing a lot of that. Oh. All right, make sure that we're going retrograde. Oh, beautiful music. Okay, all right, all right, all right, here we go. Why, why am I stressing? Like, if you're on Min Minmus is the most forgiving place, okay? If you're going, like, less than 10 meters a second, you're fine. But I just wanted to make it a little, a little more realistic. All right, let's just quick save here. We can actually do a real quick spin so that we're facing the sun. Let's see. All right, let's try and make this a little more realistic by, like, landing at, like, zero meters a second. All right, there we go. There we go, smooth right there. Let's extend our ladder, and let's have Jebediah do an, a beautiful EVA. Let's see him climb down the ladder. There we go. Look at that. Go, Jebediah. Oh, Jebediah with the double backflip right there. Oh, one small step for man. One giant leap. All right, let's take a surface sample. We don't get any science from this because uh, we are currently like not in science mode. Uh, you sneak your taste of the surface sample. Okay, all right. So let's do an EVA report. Yep. So here's what I mean by literally, we could just jump. Look at that. We can jump higher than the entire thing. You know what? While we're out here, let's just like take one of the uh, one of the experiments. Let's take the uh, generator. Oh dang it! All right, I didn't get it. All right. Um, but anyways, let us plant our beautiful flag here. Although we are gonna want to put it a little bit away from our rocket because uh, if we do plant this flag and want to land another rocket here we don't want to land like right on top of this rocket there's my logo ah oh, dang it my logo's on the dark side okay because it's backwards on the other side minimus landing yeah okay all right there we go but let's turn on the light his uh jeb's lights we can climb the pack oh wait that's the gear action group Wait, do, does he have, like, landing gear? What? Okay, alright, lights. So we can actually make his lights, like, really green or, like, really red. So let's make them green for program gaming. Yep, so let's see. Let's just get a nice thumbnail there. Is there any way that I can make that go away? Like, there we go. Very nice thumbnail right there. All right, so I'd like to thank you all so very much for watching. Uh, if this video gets two likes, I'm serious. Like, I'm not one of those YouTubers that's like, if this video gets two likes. Uh, but I'm serious. If this video gets two likes, I will make a part two of your request. So leave that down in the comment section below. Uh, there's a nice shot of Minmus right there. Again, thank you all so very much for watching. Please subscribe. I need to beat Digital Assault in a race to 100 subscribers. Uh, his, the link to his channel will be in the description if you do want to go subscribe to him. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, I'd like to thank you all so very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Goodbye.